she stops, she wouldn't have gotten hit, right? Correct. But because she continued, she ended up right in front of where Dr. Hassan was turning. Correct. But according to this, she shouldn't have been in there because she wasn't in the crosswalk. Correct. That was testimony from day three in the manslaughter trial of Dr. Amir Hassan. Testimony shows that it could be a devastating prosecution case. Harlingen Police Investigator Roberto Silva took the stand in day three. He's with the department's highway enforcement and took over the crash scene when he arrived. The defense argued from the start that Harlingen Police didn't investigate the case properly. The defense attorney Dan Sanchez wasted no time attacking how Silva performed his duties. Silva testified that while he was at the scene, he didn't remember speaking with Dr. Hassan or any other witnesses. Now, Silva and his, and his team didn't map out the scene of the collision until 4 a.m. the next day, after learning that San Juana Sanchez had died. One of the key questions in the case has been whether or not Sanchez was in the crosswalk when she was hit by Dr. Hassan. Witnesses in the case have watched the video of the crash and do agree Sanchez didn't start out in the crosswalk, but ended up in the line. Harlingen investigators didn't map out the direction Sanchez took until Tuesday. Silva was asked about telling a witness that brake marks or tire tracks were found at the scene. Video of the witness interviewed was played for the jury, where Silva said that they were present. All you did by being in there was tamper with the investigation, did you? Yes, sir. And you want this jury to rely on your investigation to convict my client? Yes, sir. Silva agreed with defense lawyers he was learning on the job and wasn't fully trained in investigating crashes. The trial continues tomorrow morning.